Hello men's, fems, thems, and toasters. It is, of course, Ultimate, and this is, of course, another summary video. I just finished reading Book 15 of Wings of Fire, and lord do I have some things to say. <laughs> I'm going to have to save those things for another video, though, since I'm pretty sure no one wants to hear my one-hour video essay analysis covering the entire series. So this video is just about the POVs of Arc 3, specifically every character that was the protagonist of one of the books. So if I check my list here, this means we're going to talk about the Blueberry, the Bookworm Hornet, the Danger Leaf, the Block of Ice, and the Shiny Emerald Idiot. Before that, however, we have the disclaimers. It's been a while since my last summary, so I don't actually care as much as I used to. Therefore, I only have two disclaimers for you today. First off, obviously this video will contain spoilers for up to Book 15, The Flames of Hope. You have been warned. Secondly, we have the Calm the Fuck Down disclaimer, which is basically just me reminding you that this video is purely meant as satire. When I say I hate something, or someone, or I poke fun, I'm not being serious. I exaggerate things for the sake of comedy, and it's not meant to be taken seriously. So, before making a comment that something I said is inaccurate or not true to the character, consider that I almost assuredly know that, but I left it in because it's funny. With that, we can actually get into the video. By now, I'm sure that you've all heard the accusations that Arc 3 isn't nearly as good as the first two. I'm sure you've all thought, wow, this new plot sucks. Why is a trio consisting of a plant, an irritating dragonette, and every boss ever the big bad instead of the evil murder hornet that we thought it was? But my friends, I'm here to tell you that you're fucking right. It's not as good. <laughs> but it's still Wings of Fire. And Wings of Fire books that aren't nearly as good as the last ones are still way better than a lot of other series out there. So let's start off by talking about the protagonists of The Lost Continent. Blueberry. Wait, no, sorry, I meant Blue. His name is just so exceedingly boring that I think my brain keeps trying to make up better ones. My bad, y'all. Anyhow, Blue is really empathetic. This trait really grabbed me at first, because up until then, the Shy Dragons were just shy. But this one comes in a new package. Not only is Blue an introvert, he also really likes to make excuses for people who don't deserve it, meaning that he is 130% more relatable. Pick up your Blue for only $3.99 today. Joking aside, he is pretty cute, but it absolutely killed me that he doesn't realize that being a doormat for everyone you come across isn't always a good thing until literally the last few pages of the book. But the people who were annoyed by Blue in Book 11 didn't know what was coming to them, because he is still less insufferable than his girlfriend, Grasshopper. No yellow jacket. No. Cell phone the Hive Wing really likes books. She just... She really likes books. She wears glasses and has patterns that look like ink splashes on her scales. Get it? Because cause ink is for writing, and you use ink to write books. Y you get it? When she's not reading books, she's asking questions that are either only for the plot or mildly offensive. You could blame it on curiosity, but to me she seems less curious and more like the people who ask you to go get them a drink of water because they just don't feel like getting up from the couch. You could find out the answer yourself, but it's much easier to just annoy people with your endless questions. Sundu is a lesbian, which is apparently the only thing the Karens on Amazon care about in regards to this angry maple leaf. Luckily, she does have more emotions than just love for her admittedly adorable girlfriend. Specifically, two emotions. Those emotions are rage and contempt. Much like the other two books, Book 13 seems to exist mostly to tell the viewer about the new environment and develop the idea that an overgrown weed that can talk is working with a malevolent bee to take over the continent and make all dragons obey them. At least Sundu is here to save the day, except a huge portion of her book is just her being mad at her mom. But of course, just as the Arc 3 plot was getting interesting, we move back to the boring continent to a boring queen who I do not care about. Her name is Snowfall, and she is the new Icewing Queen. Her book is definitely filler, but it is the most interesting filler I have ever read, so I'm not mad about it. The queen herself is vaguely okay, but you know you picked the wrong character for a POV when the characters in Snowfall's visions are way more interesting than her. In Book 15, she gives Sundu some convenient bands of invisibility, which were not ever mentioned before to my knowledge, but that's probably fine. Let's not worry about that. You may be noticing that this segment is shorter than the rest, and that's primarily because just like Snowfall, I have nothing interesting to say. Luna's book is called The Flames of Hope, which is strange considering she spends a good chunk of the book convinced that none of her companions are as good as her boyfriend. I would consider renaming the title to The Sexy Flames of Swordtail, since that sort of thing makes up 50% of her thoughts. She reminds me of if someone invited you to a really important party and you went, 
but the entire time, all you did was tell all the people there how your friends are so much better than them. Doesn't feel good, does it, you irritating green pearl? Her whole idea about hiding what you really feel is actually fairly relatable, or at least it would be if it was for self-preservation or for an actual reason. She seems to mostly hide her feelings just so that she can marvel about how Cricket doesn't. In fact, now that I think about it, pretty much every book in Arc 3 is just discovering that people are not all part of a hive mind. While fighting against a literal hive mind. Thank you for watching this summary video. If you would like to watch the previous ones, there's a playlist on my channel. If you're interested in other content, I also do comedy sketches, drawing challenges, how-to, and soon-to-be Let's Plays. Subscribe if you would like to see more, or don't. I'm not your dad. Hope you enjoyed, and Ultimate out. Kibley was in this book, so it's the best one since Darkness of Dragons. 10 out of 10.